Hello everybody and welcome to the August 2024 edition of Free Game of the Month. And for this month we're taking a look at 20 Small Mazes. A game presumably about 20 small mazes. Alright, so now we are hidden. And yeah, that does look like... 20... Small mazes. <laughs> So it looks like we can just kind of click and drag on them. And, uh... Kind of work on whichever one we wish. So, this one's right in front of us, so let's get started on this one, I guess. It looks like... We can press the space bar to fold and unfold the maze. So we can use the WASD, or I believe the arrow keys as well? Yeah the arrow keys to move around our little dot we can go down here fold it up and go over there it looks like we kind of just disappear if we're in that center like column <laughs> we need to be careful of that yes this is a free game that is only available on steam i think and might be also available on itch.io um Ooh, do we want to go up or it looks like we need to go over to the left and then down yes unfortunately pc only but kind of understandable given the control scheme of it now it looks like we want to actually continue over to here then up this i think <laughs> yeah from what i understand uh this game is not particularly lengthy. Ooh, what happened here? Did we go backwards or something? We're at a dead end. I think I'm a bit lost. Okay, so let's... Uh, good technique for solving mazes. Start at the end. <laughs> so it looks like we need to be over to here first. Which will get folded into here. If we go up here, it looks like we can get into this little section here. Means we need to get over to here, up through there. Up there. Interesting. So I'm up here. Now, oh, where did I... I think I needed to go from this point. Yeah. So it's down this direction. Yes, so I go over to here, unfold over to here, around here, and through the door. And that is one of 20 done. <laughs> I will not be going over all 20 in uh, today's episode, but just kind of sample a few of them and get a general idea of what exactly is going on. That is a treasure map of a like half completed maze. <laughs> It, this is this one in particular is reminding me of uh, the game uh, The Witness, where you have to like draw lines to connect certain things. It's also a very good puzzle game. Ah, so that treasure map seems like it'll go to the buried treasure one. Check out this one. Gravity points down. I see. <laughs> so we have these, it looks like we have these arrows. But, um, you step on them. It, uh, sorry, I was thinking for a second there. Uh, it looks like it will rotate 
in the desired direction. So it looks like we need to fall down this way. So we can get through this, like, tunnel here. How do we do that? Question. Can I, like... No, okay. You cannot uh, move around while you are falling. <laughs> suppose that is good to establish. Because otherwise I would have just fell and then like moved to there and then there, over there, and then just kind of fell through that way, but that is not a thing you can do. Right, left or right? Left or right? Right will put us over to here. So I think we need to get down here. <laughs> Maybe. Because then we can fall there, fall there, and then down. I think. Yeah, right, okay. Because that means we need to get in there so we can fall down there. So we go this way. We can then turn over to here. Go over to here. Down. Over to this. And like so. We're through. <laughs> Sometimes it's best to just relax, just kind of sit there, think about it for a bit before acting. Because now we are in this room. Uh, we do not want to go left. Also, it is good, I feel, for a lot of problems, and like mazes especially, to just kind of break it down into sort of binary decisions of, in this case, left or right. So if we take a look at the left, we get sent back up there, the only way we can go is back up there. We don't go to the left, so therefore we go to the right. Now, it becomes a bit more complicated. Uh, we should go to the left, because again, going to the right will lead us nowhere. At this point, we either go to the left and fall and go up there, or go to the right and just go up there. So there's not really much of a choice on that. <laughs> left takes us to where we start, right will take us to a new area. Likewise. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, from what I understand, this is just kind of a good game if you are uh, looking for something for just, you know, a few minutes. Uh, from what I understand, the game isn't terribly long. It's just kind of work through some puzzles, you know, get your brain working a little bit. And there we go. That should be the end of this one. I believe, depending on how quickly you make it through these puzzles, the, uh... Check out You Are The Maze. Uh, oh, hi. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> Some very inconveniently placed... red cubes. It kind of feels like we need to go through like this. Ah. <laughs> kind of making our way through this thing. Oh, so close. <laughs> I, am I doing it right? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I think that's it. I think we're through. <laughs> Giant thing goes through the door. But yeah, this is just kind of a nice, you know, from my understanding, depending on how fast you can solve the puzzles, 30 to an hour and 30 minutes. Um... It's not too terribly long, but just nice little- oh, hi, yes, we are putting <laughs> puzzle back together. And there seems to be quite a wide variety of different- <laughs> my six-year-old drew this maze. 
This seems to be quite a wide... I'm the missing items. Seems to be quite a wide variety of puzzles and gimmicks, because each one of these <laughs> has a different little gimmick associated with it. So they're not all just straightforward puzzles. I have to include a sliding puzzle because it's the law. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You have some ASCII art there. Password reminder. Okay. What are you gonna do? Steal my passwords? <laughs> Found a book. I think this is for the scavenger hunt. I feel like I've heard that sound effect somewhere before. <laughs> oh well, I cannot seem to place that in my memory. <laughs> So yes, I think I shall leave it off here. Um, there is a ton of unsolved puzzles here, so... I think I'm gonna leave it off here with giving you a little taste of what exactly this is. Nice little puzzle solving game, completely free on Steam. That's amazing, I guess. Anyways, that's enough from this episode. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. Drink some water. Holding my water glass right here. A sip. Ah, okay. Sip of water. Have a great rest of your day. See you next time. Bye-bye.